the number one priority you should look at, and, and really, frankly, the best return on your investment is going to be um, the signage lighting, uh, which in a lot of cases, that's already uh, predetermined through uh, specifications. Um, but if you have an option uh, and you haven't moved over from a neon type of a sign or fluorescent type of a sign to LED, uh, the payback there is fantastic. Um, you're, you're looking at probably one to two years, again, depending on, on the situation. But that is your fastest return on your investment. Um, and you can take those savings and roll those into kind of the next application space, which we're really seeing as the outdoor lighting um, and probably one of the biggest uh, capital uh, investments, but also biggest area for um, improvement uh, is the parking lots and, and really going after those uh, lighting applications. Next would be probably your, your service bays. Um, and again, it all really depends on the existing lighting, uh, how often and recent they've changed out that lighting. Um, and then finally, kind of the, the new frontier, if you will, is really the showrooms and the interior ceiling lighting um, that's in a dealership. That's a little bit more challenging today uh, from a financial standpoint, but that's really the, the next thing that's going to take, take hold. So again, just to run through it, signage has been out there and available really since the early 2000s. Um, we really started getting into outdoor lighting. Um, probably five or, or six years ago, and within the last two to three years, it's really made a lot of sense uh, to really look at your outdoor lighting. Um, and then the next frontier is really kind of the, the service bays and then the, the interior showrooms and, and back office areas.